Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Maya, and in today's video, I'm gonna be creating this look right here with new products. If you're interested, please keep watching. Before we start, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, check out my channel, watch some more videos, get cozy, get comfy, maybe click that bell icon. Anyway, uh, let's get into the video. Okay, so first and foremost, I know what you're gonna say. Maya, it looks like you just woke up, like you just rolled out of bed and started filming. That's uh, cause that's pretty accurate. I didn't wake up too long ago, about an hour ago, and I set everything up and here I am. So I already did my eyebrows, as you can tell, because I didn't use a new product. I just used my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. To clean up, I'm gonna be using the Pro Artist HD Concealer Palette in medium to dark, and I did talk about this in the last video. I realize I'm not talking to the camera, I'm talking to my brushes instead, but anyways. I used this in the last video, I'm aware. Once again, this is one of the few concealer products that I have. Be moving on to the eyes to set my eyes i'm going to be using the black radiance pressed powder in bronze gold now the occasion i'm going out for doesn't require eyeshadow but for the sake of this video i'm going to be using the elf cushion eyeshadow palette it's from their aqua collection this is the one in cool mist i did have the other one which is right here in Island Breeze, but I did already use this one, so I'm gonna use the one that I didn't use. I just wanna say that this packaging is so beautiful. Like, when I opened up the other one, I was taken aback, because I was just, I was expecting their regular, you know, black and white elf, but look, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Oh my God. I love it. Anyways, this is what it looks like. Look at that. So, um, the event I'm going out to is pretty casual, so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do this. But I'm gonna take this brown color right here, and I'm actually just gonna put it in my crease. I truly love these palettes. Like, I'm really glad they came out with these. These are, oh, I like them. And now I'm gonna be using the Mad for Matte Holy Smokes palette, and this did make an appearance in the last video. But I only use like I only use two shades, so I'm gonna take this shade right here, and I think I'm gonna go over the crease shade just to first of all set it because it is a creamy eyeshadow, and to give it a little more pigment. Now I'm gonna go in the crease again with this brown shade just because I want this to be a little more brown. Okay, and I am going to be making this a soft cut crease look, so I'm going to take a different brush, and I'm going to be taking, okay, because they don't have the color I really wanted, I'm going to be mixing these two colors right here, and I'm going to be putting that on my lid. So that didn't work at all how I was planning it to, so I'm going to see if there's a different color in here. There is not. I think we're gonna have to go outside of new makeup for just uh, one second because I really need this one shade. So I'm gonna be busting out the Morphe 350M palette and I'm gonna be taking this shade right here and this is what I'm gonna use on my lid. Now I'm using the brush I was using before for the brown eyeshadow, I'm just gonna blend out my crease a bit all right so for eyeshadow I really do like this palette it's smaller than I was expecting it to be that's okay the shades are really nice it is very pigmented it just didn't have the color I was looking for right then and there so that's nothing against the palette that's just me this right here oh look at the packaging and the colors it's, everything's just oh my gosh oh my can i swatch that blue look 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 look, look. you ready i need to calm down because that doesn't even match with the outfit i'm wearing today so for eyeliner i'm going to be using nothing new i'm just using the elf expert liquid liner and so i will be doing my liner off of camera because we already know how this goes. To clean up the wing and the eyeshadow, I used the same color I did to clean up my brows. 
from the, ow, my finger, from the Pro Conceal palette. And now we're moving on to face, which I'm both really excited and quite worried for. So for moisturizer, I'm not using anything new. I mean, it was new in the last video. I haven't actually talked about it. Uh, this is the Dual Action Clean and Clear, the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. I did not buy this with my birthday makeup, but I have been using it with the Soap and Glory face wash, and it's a really nice product. And it's oil free, it's inexpensive, and as you guys know, I am going to come back to my eyes, I just leave them for last. I also have my Christmas lights up, but off because it's daytime and you know the sunlight would have muted the lights, it just would have wouldn't have looked nice. So I'm going to moisturize my lips now, and I'm not going to be using the chapstick. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator in Sweet Cherry. Here it is. And I hope this moisturizes as well as exfoliates, or else I'm going to have to bust out the chapstick. This hop is a little smash because it just hit the, the lid. Okay, well, it's not just a little smash. It's just, like, completely <laughs> broken, but we're just, we're just going to... We're going to pretend that that didn't just happen and continue with this video. This is not a moisturizer, it's uh, like pure exfoliator. And since my lips are dry as it is, that did not do my lips any justice. Okay, so online says that I should just use that with water. Online is telling me that I have to dampen my lips and then use a lip exfoliator and then put on like a lip balm. So I'm gonna go dampen my lips and now we're gonna use the exfoliator. a moistened cotton pad with water to gently wipe away scrub. Okay, now I have to go wet this. Or you know what? Look! I have water here. We'll just, uh, we'll do this. Oh, wow. Okay, L. Okay. And I'm not gonna use the chapstick this time. I'm gonna be using cocoa butter only because I use this to soften my lips. So soft on top of soft, that's gonna be really wild. Oh, if you're wondering what cocoa butter I'm using, I'm using the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. This is my ride or die. I've been using this forever. Concealer. No, primer. For primer, I'm gonna be using the NYX No Filter Blurring Primer. We used the other one in that other video, but I really wanna try this one. Which is kind of why I'm doing this video, just to test out stuff that I didn't get to test in the other one. Now, because this does make me look a little pale, not even pale, just a little, a little ashy, you can see distinctly where I didn't put the primer. So, like, right here looks very prominent. Oh, I look so ashy. Okay. So, for concealer, I'm gonna be using... The f uh, should I use this? I'm gonna use it anyway. I'm gonna be using the Fit Me Matte... No. I'm gonna be using the Fit Me Concealer in 330 Cafe. Not 330, that's the foundation I use. This is 30 Cafe. And I didn't wet the sponge I'm going to be using. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Precision sponge. This is the largest one. It is not wet yet because I haven't gotten up yet. So here it is. It looks like one just giant egg. Okay, so back to concealing. Be trying out for foundation the elf i don't remember the exact name for this i think it was like the flawless foundation i'm not sure but this is the elf ah this is the elf foundation this is in the shade coco which looks i can't even tell if this is going to be my shade or not it looks darker this is my first time using it since i bought it so just to prove that this is going to be too dark for me i'm going to put some right here Yep. you see that? You can distinctly see that. So, what's going to happen, I'm going to be mixing this with the... Oh, I'm almost out of this. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 310 Sun Beige. 
which I use this to lighten up any concealers that are too dark for me. I'm gonna take a foundation brush. Actually, here, I'm gonna take this foundation brush that's already been used. Because there's so little left, I'm going to leave this upside down with the cap on, with the cap on, so everything goes to the top. And while that's doing what it does, I'm going to put this all over my face. I'm not gonna blend it in, I'm just gonna sit it on my face. Okay, this is taking way too long. Like, I really have to buy... That's gonna be put on my buy list. But I have this. I haven't used this in so long. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in Caramel Beige, which is also way too light for me. So we're going to see if these mix together. So, at this point, all we can do is pray. So I just want to say this sponge is so hard. Like it's just, I don't even know if it's blending anything in. I would prefer not to use a sponge, actually. I have to put in so much effort. Oh gosh. I'm not using this again. That's, it's so hard. I'm going to set my face so I don't crease at all. And I'm using the same powder as I did in the beginning. Ah, oh I forgot it has a brush in here. I'm not going to use the brush. I'm going to be using this brush right here that I used to use for a foundation, but we're using it for powder now. Wow, wah, wow. That was dark. Use Ooh, no, 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 no. We can't use that. I'm sorry. That was dark. I can't even take that off. Oh my gosh. And I don't... I don't think it's like too dark for me, but with this foundation right now, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna be taking the Soft Focus Golden Almond Finish. You know, you've heard so much of it about this now on my channel. Look at it, it's almost gone. I have to just like circle all around. Yo, I, oh, I hope this works out in the end. So because I mixed those two uh, foundations, I can't really give you an accurate response to the e.l.f. foundation. You see how far I have to blend this because my face is just dark. If I go out and get a lighter shade of the e.l.f. foundation, then I will redo that trial and then I'll be able to give you accurate feedback. But since I had to mix two foundations, I can't really touch upon that. So now I'm gonna contour. For contour, I'm gonna be using the Black Radius True Complexion Contour Palette in medium to dark, which was featured in the last video, but this is the only contour I have. So, <laughs> Now I'm gonna highlight because my face is just just dark and we need to fix it. So HD Pro, here we go. I'm gonna be taking this color right here. I don't know if you can see this. I hope you can. This color right here. And we're just gonna put that like everywhere. No, I can't use this, forget it. We're gonna use this brush and hope it works because this is actually really creamy right now. Everything on my face is really creamy, so we're gonna see if this blends out. And I'm gonna soften the, the contour around my nose. I'm just gonna pat it because it is really strong. And to set all of that, I'm going to be using the gold. gold mm -hmm. I'm gonna be using ow the golden almond finish. Finish the golden almond finish. I'm 
going to try and lighten the contour a bit because it is really strong just on my cheek area there you go okay somehow that worked from there i was going to use the sculpting powder but because of how dark i look right now I'm just going to skip that. I'm just going to go right into blush. I'm going to be using the Black Radiance Artist in Color in Warm Berry. There was really something I had to say, I just forgot. No, 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 I remember, I remember. The lighting keeps changing because, you know, the sun, it's, yeah. So, I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some color right here. I'm not gonna, oh, that's a lot, that's a lot, darn, 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 okay. I'm not gonna push it around because that would put more color on my face. Then I'm going to take the brush that I use for the powder and I'm gonna blend out the blush with that. So, now that I'm finished the face, primarily, I'm going to go back to the eyeshadow and I'm, I'm going to take from the Holy Smokes palette and I'm going to be mixing these two colors and I'm going to use that on my bottom lash line. I'm going to curl my eyelashes. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Curvitude, which I have used already. And it's actually not that new. I just don't have any new mascara. And I was going to use the Colossal Big Shot, but I lost that. So I, I mm, like, I think it's in my mom's car. Like, I, it's really just not here. Now I will be setting everything with the Okay. Now I'm gonna be setting everything with the Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. Mm, nice one. Okay, wow. Now that that's dry, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in Glow Up. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. tinted lip oil in the shade Red Kiss and I have not opened this since I've gotten it. I'm really excited about this. Their applicator, do you see that? It kind of cups in, give your lip a nice little hug. Wow, that's really tint indeed. Like I actually didn't expect it to be that light. Okay, so this applicator is not working for me. giving your lip a hug it's kind of just dragging across my lip see it just kind of pulls okay well that's it this is my my look with um new makeup it's a cute look it's cute um the stuff i wasn't crazy about though was this sponge right here just because it was so hard to blend everything out with and once again the foundation i can't put any fault on that because it was dark was too dark for me the primer I really liked my face feels so soft the spray we already know I I don't mess with that spray and we already know I don't like this uh, the finishing powder I didn't really get to give uh, feedback on this because with the foundation, it was really dark on me. So I will try this later on, later on with the right shade of foundation to see if this uh, is my color and works out. It did do a really good job with my eyes though. You see they haven't creased. 
at all. That's pretty much it. The eye stuff was great. Everything was great in this video. Like, I'm very happy with this. And now I have 40 minutes to get ready and go. So, with that, I'm going to do my outro. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more of my videos. If you're feeling generous, click the bell icon to get notifications whenever I post. Leave any comments, suggestions, or general discontent in the comment section. I will make sure to read and respond to them. Please make sure to share this video with anyone who needs makeup ideas, makeup helpers, just to make my holic like me. With that, thank you so much for watching this video once again, and I'll see you in my next one.